Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over three separate things, and the first one being where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar for today. The second thing that we're actually going to cover is all the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all the daily challenges in extensive detail so that you guys can earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by going over Madame Nazar's location. So let's go ahead and pull up our map here and head on out west over to Tall Trees. And that's where you're going to find a Madame Nazar for today. Now your fast travel destination of choice will actually be at Manzanita Post. And then just make your way a little bit uh, north to this location. But if this is the only thing that you guys came here for, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. A like goes a long way here on the channel as it shows your support. It tells me that you want me to continue making these types of videos. And honestly, it helps me grow here on YouTube. So just go ahead and hit that like button. It literally takes like two seconds of your time to show your appreciation. Hopefully you guys watch more than just this. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The next thing that we're going to talk about is the different collection sets and their current cycles. And honestly, if you guys are going to be doing any type of collecting, I recommend that you guys go after the coins and the lost jewelry just because you do make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time possible. You will make $540 per hour and it will take about three to three and a half hours to complete. Now, if you are going after the coins and lost jewelry, you guys will need to have the metal detector and also the field shovel in order to collect these items. You'll also need that for the arrowheads and the, lock and the um, family heirlooms, but we'll get that into that in just a moment. If you guys are going to specifically be going after the coins and the lost jewelry for today, coins are going to be a part of cycle number three, and the lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number five. Arrowheads and family heirlooms will also require the field shovel and or the metal detector, as I was previously mentioning. Arrowheads are going to be a part of cycle number three, and the family heirlooms will be a part of cycle number two. Now, if you guys do all the different collection sets every single day, you guys can actually make over $4,000, which is pretty amazing. It is the best way of earning money here in Red Dead Online, as there is no other opportunity that can actually generate $540 per hour, unless you guys are doing some kind of glitch, which I highly don't recommend. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the other four. The other four sets actually don't even actually have to be a collector at all in order to collect them. However, you will need to be a collector in order to sell them to Madame Bazaar. So I advise that you guys go ahead and uh, get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can. And if you guys are wondering why, then really listen to what my previous statement was. Uh, the collector is the best way of earning money here in Red Dead Online. So if you guys need money to buy anything specifically... And that's the way you're going to go ahead and make your cash in order to do that. All right, let's go ahead and talk a little bit uh, about the sets. So we got the uh, American Wildflowers at cycle number two. The Tarot Cars at cycle number six. The American or uh, the Antique Alcohol Bottles at cycle number six as well. And then Bird Eggs are going to be a part of cycle number two for today. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the daily challenges. We're just going to quickly go over that list real quick, and then we're going to break them down in detail. So let's do that. We got five American ginseng picked, one escaped the law, three free roll missions completed, 20 non-player enemies looted, five redfin pickerel caught, one visited a shop in Blackwater, and then visited one Gila Dam. We have one completed special moonshine recipe, a distance of 4827, traveled by moonshine wagon while on a mission, three moonshine bootlegger missions completed, three camp stews eaten, three deadly predator carcasses or skins donated. We have two resupply missions completed, two collectibles found with a metal detector, three collectibles looted from non-player enemies, three collectibles sold to Madame Nazar, Two bounties brought in from new Hanover posters, three bounty targets lassoed from horseback, and then last but not least, we have one player bounty collected. All right, let's go ahead and break these down. Now, every day you guys have the possibility of earning up to 11 gold bars each and every single day. There are two requirements for getting the 11 gold bars. Number one is to complete a daily challenge, just one every single day for 21 days in a row, and then maintaining it going forward. It's really easy to just maintain one as there's always one daily challenge that literally takes less than five minutes to complete. 
And then the other requirement is that you guys have all the current roles and be at least a rank 10 in each of those roles because that will allow you guys to have the most amount of possibilities as far as the daily challenges go to only have to complete one daily challenge each and every single day. All right, but this is honestly the best way of earning gold here in Red Dead Online. So let's go ahead and break these down for you guys for today. American Ginseng picked. Now, uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the, my go-to locations, obviously, for this. Um, I spend a lot of time around Valentine. That's and obviously around my Moonshine Shack, which is where I'm currently at right now. Uh, pretty much load the game, and wherever I'm at is pretty much where I started at. It's not like I went somewhere else. That's where I started at. Like, gives you guys an idea of where I play and spend a lot of my time. Uh, but anyway, we got Valentine. So if you guys come to Valentine, you guys can actually find American Ginseng all over. Pretty much all around Valentine in this area, and then a ton of it in Cumberland Forest, and a lot of it in the Heartlands as well. So if you guys happen to find it outside of Valentine, that's where you guys can go ahead and find it. If you guys start right here on the E in Valentine, right about here, you guys will actually find your first American Ginseng. If you guys come down a little bit further and actually go on to this path like right here, you'll find another group. Like, they only come in one, so you'll never find them in like groups of two or three. So just keep that in mind as well. you also find another one right here. And then you'll also find another one behind this uh, burnt down shack right there. Now, if you guys come closer to Dallin's Ranch, you guys can actually find one uh, right about this area. You can also find another one right about here. And another one right here on this path headed down into the Dakota River area. And how many, how many have I given you guys? Is that seven? Let's give you guys like two more or three more. You got another one on this side of Downs Ranch right about here. And then you have another one back here towards that one. And then the last one that I can think of is going to be right about in this location right here. So that's ten different locations that I just gave to you guys. You should be able, obviously, to be able to find five, considering that I gave you ten locations. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, and that is going to be Escape the Law. Now, this is actually super easy to do. Uh, any town, any area that has a lot of witnesses, witness possibilities, is where you guys are going to want to do this at. So, Valentine, Rhodes, Strawberry, Saint Denis, Blackwater, wherever. You guys get to pick that. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is just... Get witnessed, and then as soon as you get wanted, just run away. Only that's all you gotta do, and just keep running until you are far enough away. The next one is to complete free free roam missions. Now these are different than free roam events. So free roam missions are gonna be the stranger danger missions or the stranger missions. Uh, pretty much anybody that's waving at you on the map. So like Joe here, you got Tammy right here. Any of those are going to be the stranger missions, which are going to allow you guys to participate in the free roam missions, not the events. You just have to do three of those today. Now, those will take a little bit of time. Typically, the longest one that I think I've ever done is about eight minutes. Otherwise, they sometimes are a little bit shorter than that. It really depends on what they want you to do. 20 non-player enemies looted. Now, I did see something that will actually go along with that, and that is the bootlegger missions. So you guys can actually, if you guys have the bootlegger mission possibility and have the moonshine shack, if you guys go and talk to Maggie, you guys will actually be able to complete these missions by talking to her, or you guys can actually have them randomly happen throughout the world, and that's actually how you can participate in them. And then everybody you kill, just make sure that you're looting. Super easy, especially if you guys do three of these bootlegger missions, you'll have 20 people, easy peasy, to go ahead and loot. So those two definitely go together for today. We have five red fin pickerel caught. Now yesterday was the, the chain pickerel. Now today is the red fin pickerel. Now these guys prefer red bait over any type of lure. They will actually go after any of the food bait. So cheese, bread, um, or even oh, corn is the other one. I almost forgot what the other one was there for a second. Uh, you guys can do this at pretty much any area that there's a body of water. Um, except for the Heartland Overflow, there's no fish there. But Dakota River Valley, again, you guys are going to be really close to that American ginseng. Ginseng, that's really good opportunity. You got Upper Montana River. The Lower Montana River will also have redfin pickerel. You can find them over here by roads, and you can also find them in the Kamasa River. So again, lots of opportunities for you guys to go ahead and catch redfin pickerel. Now, you guys will catch other fish on top of that. So, you might want to go ahead and sell whatever you guys currently have to the butcher or 
break it down. Visit a shop in Blackwater and visit Owanjila Dam. These are super simple. You just have to visit a shop in Blackwater. I like to go to the Butcher just because you don't even actually have to get off the horse. And then just set your uh, waypoint for Owanjila Dam. If you guys honestly don't know where this is at and you're brand new to the game, let me show you guys on the map. It's right here. Fast travel up to Strawberry or ride there up from Blackwater because it's actually not that far away from Blackwater or Madame Nazar's location. And then go here and you'll get that one completed. Honestly, the daily challenges for the most part for today, pretty easy peasy. Uh, we got uh, the daily roll challenges. We got completed a special moonshine. You actually don't actually have to have it completed, but if you're already started, then wait for it to be completed. This will consist of the Caribbean rub, the Creek plum, or the Argarita flower. Or you can actually start a brand new batch. And as long as you start the special moonshine with the three ingredients that I previously mentioned, you guys will get this one completed right away. The next one on the list is to travel a distance of 4827 while on the Moonshine Wagon on a mission. And that's basically going to be equivalent to two deliveries of Moonshine. So you guys will have to wait in between each delivery. But we've already covered the, moon, uh, the Moonshine Bootlegger missions. Uh, three camp stews eaten. Uh, the best way to do this is obviously going to your own camp, uh, wherever it's located. Um, again, people keep telling me, so mine's located at the Heartland Overflows. People keep telling me that you guys can go here in Valentine. It has never worked for me, but you can find it actually right here at that location, right across the street from the Butcher. There is also a Camp Stew Pot down in Blackwater. This one I have never tested, so I don't know if it works or not. But back in this area, you guys will find a Stew Pot as well. So you guys can actually go ahead and eat from um, and uh, see if that works for you guys. If it does work for you guys, then leave a comment down below letting everybody know. But this is one that I've never needed to do because honestly i always go to my camp and i'm always a lot closer to my camp than probably a lot of the daily challenges are anyway at least i don't have to go as far the next one on the list is to donate three deadly predator carcasses or skins wolves are a good opportunity because you can usually find those or in groups of three or four but otherwise setting your camp up in blue water marsh or the bayou nwa is the best option in my opinion because you guys can just hunt the alligators one by one if you guys are going to use your horse if you guys are going to be using your hunting wagon you can actually throw a couple of the carcasses in the back of that and get that done in one go round so if you guys don't find any alligators in there that means you're in a glitch session just join a brand new session and you should be able to find them no problem and if you guys only find like one or two and you can't find any other ones you don't have to worry about starting all over you'll still maintain that one or two that you've already collected and then or donated and then you guys can be able to just start um, with that last one we have two resupply missions completed uh, these will be taking a little bit of time in between each of those um, it's about 20 minutes to half an hour that you guys have to wait for each resupply mission we have two collectibles found with a metal detector coins is the best option because um, those are always guaranteed. Otherwise, like I said, you guys can find some of the lost jewelry, some of the arrowheads, and some of the family heirlooms can be found with the metal detector. But if you want guaranteed, go after the coins. What you gotta do for that one. Three collectibles looted from non-player enemies. You guys have to loot 20 non-player enemies anyway. So if you guys get lucky, you might be able to get this done. Uh, again, the bootlegger missions are the best opportunities of getting collectibles from non-player enemies. So my testing that i've ever done it seems like every two out of every three bootleg missions that you guys do you guys will get one collectible so it's pretty good odds so you might have to do maybe four or five bootleg missions in order to get this today but it's not going to be terribly hard but it's probably going to be the hardest one um for the actual uh da daily roll challenges for today just because it's completely random we have three collectibles sold to Madame Mazar. You're going to want to specifically go to Madame Mazar in order to sell them to her. So you're going to want to go out to Great Plains, uh, Tall Trees area, which, where she's on that border. And then fast travel to Manzanita Post. We got two bounties brought in from New Hanover posters. So that's going to be Valentine, Emerald Ranch, or uh, Banhorn. We have three bounty targets lassoed from horseback. So make sure that you're on your horseback when you lasso them. And then last but not least, we have one player bounty collected. Now, if you guys have a friend that you guys can do this with, you're not going to want to be in the same posse together, but you're going to have, you're going to take turns. One person is going to basically be the enemy, and then you're going to be the person that's taking all the bullets. And then you're going to press charges on them each and every single time that they kill you until they get a player, a bounty offered on them. 
and then you're gonna go ahead and turn that in then you reverse that so that you'll kill them they'll press ch press charges on you and then they can turn you in that's the best way to do that otherwise good luck trying to get this one to happen this is probably the hardest out of all the daily challenges on today's list to be 100 percent honest especially if you don't have a friend but anyway that is all the daily challenges done gone over and covered if you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges then by all means leave a comment down below so that i can do my best to help you guys out but if you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way then don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated i do have memberships available on the channel if you guys would like to further support me as a content creator it would definitely be appreciated as i do this full time and rely completely on you guys for my income each and every single day so if you guys would like to do that it'd be much appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming <laughs>